Note that you can see that the name of your file does not match the file name that we just changed it to. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to change the name from CH1, Christine Rayner. We're going to put it just like we did in our Windows um, name when we renamed it for Windows. Now we're going to rename it in QuickBooks. So we're going to click on Company. We can come down to My Company and we click there. And then for My Company, we want to go all the way over to the right because we're looking for Edit. There's an Edit icon. It looks like a pencil. We're going to click on Edit. And then we're going to, when, that, when we get there, here we are. We're going to click behind, behind the H. We're going to backspace it out, C and the H out. We're going to put the, the E, X, 1. And then we're going to come behind the 1, press the space bar, type in our name. And then we're going to click on the OK button so that our name will be changed. And then look what happens when we go into the QuickBooks file now. It now, the company file now has our name. It matches the same name in Windows. And that's how we want to do every time we open up a QuickBooks file that we're going to be making changes to. This is just not for this one. This is the way we're going to do it every time. So now you can close up my company and you now can come out of QuickBooks. And that should do it. Again, you want to do this every time you're dealing with a QuickBooks file. The way they're showing you how to do it in the book is not the way I want you to do it. I want you to do it this way. And if you need to review this again, that would be uh, good. Good luck.